There's this scripture that a lot of people take out of context, and it is, a prophet is without honor in his own home. And people normally use it to say, oh, when you go home, you're going to get hated on, everybody's not going to like you, and that's not really true. I mean, it kind of is, but it's really not. You know, before there was a Kairos, before there was an Armand Wake Up, I mean, before there was even an accepting of Jesus, there was this dude, my homeboy Webb. This is another member of the Triangle Effect. It is a, a group of brothers. Uh, when I was in the military, we were all stationed together in Japan. I always asked my mom and dad to give me a brother, but then I met these guys. So I hadn't seen Webb since 2009. Him and his family were in town. So I had to invite them down to check out my show. We are at Double Happiness. I'm waiting on parking. My, my, my brother here from out of town. I saw him one minute, then he disappeared. So, yo, know, we here, I'm ready, to, I'm ready to rock out. Bring glory to the Lord with these rapidy raps. I was told I need to start drinking tea and taking care of my voice, which is true. It is what it is. I don't want to sound like a rapper in none of these, yo. Saying things like, it is what it is, and you already know what it is, and we here, we in the building. I don't want to do that. But when hip hop raised you and you rap, what do you do besides sound like a rapidy rapper? It's basically the commonality of what Jesus experienced. Like he went back to Nazareth to minister to the community that he grew up in. And because they thought they knew him, they couldn't receive from him what he was trying to give to them. Power brings freedom. Power that destroys legions. Power I can breathe in. Power I can lead in. Power that conceals you but never see me in it. Power that defeats racism, atheism. Power that will love you enough to kill the hate in you. Power that will aid you. Power that establishes racial and racial. Power that will overtake your positive energy. Turn it from infinity to a centipede. My DJ, O'Shark, he asked me one day if I wanted to tour the world with my music. Of course, naturally, I said yes. Then he asked me if I knew my neighbor five houses down my street. We think that being casted or defined as a local artist is a death sentence. And it's really not, especially if you're a Christian artist, because you want to build rapport with your community so that eventually... You know, along with the local church, you can impact it. But, you know, we want to travel and we basically want to look like rappers. Keep it real. I want to spend the rest of my life traveling. But, you know, charity starts at home. Who are you? Uh, DJ L Sharp. I DJ for a mind. Um, I do a lot of things. for our entertainment, cross radio, usual suspects, Columbus. That's, that's me. Our mind has positioned himself to be one of the top tier uh, deliver deliverers of great word, message, hip hop, rap, just good energy. Um, and I don't know if it's because of our platform. Three years running, our mind has been here at Polar Showcase. Uh, middle, middle closer. That's him. Tore it down. Brought the rain. It's raining. The new music. You should see them. Like, are you are you able to look at them when they're when they're hearing you? Sort of. They are like, yo, because he has fans. He turned all these rap, rip, rip, hippity hop, rapidy rap fans into our mind wake up fans, and that's what's happening. That's that's what's happening right now. Man, when you were rapping, you know, a couple came walking by and literally stopped and just well, they sat down first and like she was instantly drawn to it, and then he heard you finish. I think it was. Uh, I don't know what it's called, but it was about dreams and stuff like that. Oh, the dreaming too, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and yeah, he sat down, and they were just building it. I mean, as soon as you were done, they took off. Wow. I mean, but they stopped it. They ran into it, and they were just walking by. I think they were going up that way or something. I don't know. What, did, what, what just happened on stage? Like, what? Give me uh, feedback. It was amazing, man. Uh, if, 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 if you weren't compelled by that message that just happened, and that's not a performance, but I say message uh, purposely, 
Uh, if you didn't feel that, something was wrong too. But uh, I'm looking forward to the record, to the full album. Uh, our mind wake up, shut up and create. Listen, one of the dopest MCs that I know, our mind wake up. Let me get the shirt. And Let's what I really it. enjoy about him is every performance gives it 110%, and I know that's not possible, but he gives it 110%. It's your boy Jay Ross, I'm co-signing Armand, wake up. Ah. Live performance though, it's dope. I recorded the whole thing. Uh, I don't think you're gonna go home and, and uh, watch through it and find any flaws. That's too heavy, new song power, crazy. You like that record? Yeah. You like power? I'm worried because that's not a rapidy rap record at all, but I'm like rapidy rapping over trap, so I'm like, Nah, I'm trying man. to bridge the two together. It's crazy. I think you made people, you make people nervous. When you got people in a in a in a in a situation or a gathering and everyone's showcasing their talent or ability, and when you run into someone who's a freight train, it's kind of hard to you gotta go back to the drawing board and work on your craft. See, just because it's pain that doesn't make it my song. And cause it's cliche, that doesn't mean that it's wrong And just because I lost, that doesn't mean that I'll lose And just because it's fact, that doesn't make it true